Welcome to this short presentation about the direct inference of cell positions using lens-free microscopy and deep learning. The work shown here is part of a larger project where we, the pattern recognition company, the Fraunhofer EMB, and the University of Lübeck analyze and learn from the movements of cells in our body. In the long run, this may lead to new possibilities, for example in diagnosing disease. In our approach, we use a low-cost microscope to evaluate possibly thousands of cells over a certain period of time. We extract and analyze cell positions and movement patterns. In this presentation, we will show how we can use deep learning to obtain cell positions efficiently. We are using holographic imaging. This technique uses lens-free microscopes that are cheaper and have a wide field of view. One of the microscopes, built by the Fraunhofer Institute, is shown on the right. It consists of a light source that shines through the probe where the translucent cells diffract the light in a specific way. An image sensor below the probe captures the light. The challenge of the method is that we cannot obtain interpretable images right away. You can see a cropped example of the raw data, also called holograms, we acquired on the left side of the slide. Especially with overlapping cells, these images somewhat resemble random noise. However, it is possible to reconstruct the images algorithmically. An example of the reconstruction can be seen on the left. The baseline algorithm to acquire cell positions needs first set reconstruction, followed by the subsequent segmentation from which we can compute the centroids of each cell. A global threshold suffices to get good segmentation results. The arrows in the middle show the complete workflow of our project. From the holograms, we extract cell positions, combine them to cell tracks that we can further analyze. We aim to replace the baseline segmentation algorithm. The costly image reconstruction, an example is given on the right, and subsequent segmentation is substituted by a convolutional neural network that learns to mimic the segmentation of the baseline algorithm. The first advantage we observed right away is an increase in speed. Only one third of the time is needed to process incoming data. When comparing the baseline output with different CNN outputs, we observe that the CNNs can detect the same cells as the baseline with an F1 score of up to 90%. Note that the CNNs were trained on the baseline outputs, including all errors made by the baseline. Fortunately, the reconstruction algorithm allows us to simulate data, i.e. we can use the baseline segmentations and create perfect holograms without any artifacts or mistakes. With these data, we can compare the baseline algorithm to the CNNs directly. With the CNNs, we obtained a far more accurate result. Finally, we did further experiments with the ResNet-18 since it performed well while being very fast. We investigated how using different thresholds on the softmax output of the ResNet-18 can alter the cell detections. Using a low threshold yields a constant number of cells over time, indicated by the slope value in the table. Since we created the experiments, we know that this is the most realistic representation of the data. Even for the baseline, the number of cells decreased with a slope of minus 0.25. When looking at the cell segmentations, we found that many false positive detections look like actual cells. The example on the right shows some false positives colored in blue. Whites are true positives and red cells are false negatives. In addition, we compared the average cell speeds over time. First derived from the baseline segmentation, and second, derived from CNN segmentations, the resulting speed curves have a high correlation, which shows that the false positive cell detections, apart from looking like cells, also behave like natural cells. These three properties, the constant number of cells, the visual features, and the observed cell speed, indicate that the CNNs yield segmentations that are more realistic than the baseline results. In conclusion, we were able to show that using CNNs with holographic imaging can yield realistic segmentation results while being faster than the reconstruction approach, making deep learning-based segmentation a valuable tool in cell movement analysis.